news reports coming from the border of Canada and the U.S., alien ships, and there's a Gary Ginzer sighting. Gary, go home. You bet it's a Gary Genzer sighting. Take him back, guys. Take him back where he came from. All right. Welcome to OG Crypto and NFTs. My name is Troy, and every day we go over digital assets, crypto currencies, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Now, before we jump into all of that, and then we talk about aliens and all the other stuff we're going to talk about, let's hit that subscribe button. Keep growing this channel. I know we can get up to, I don't know, 100 people, 200 people. My uh, producer is laughing at me. All right, let's jump right into it. SEC to sue crypto trust Paxos over Binance stablecoin. WSJ, well, I mean, I don't forget the Wall Street Journal, but what's happened is they've gotten uh, that little note that was sent in the mail saying that they intend to sue, the SEC intends to sue Paxos. Now, Paxos is a U.S. company, and they've been minting BUSD for Binance. It's a Binance stablecoin. Now, nothing really even makes sense to me that we have so many different stablecoins because we've always seen a couple of them collapse, and they're all based on the dollar. Now, we've all said that we know that if we do not have regulation and it's based on the dollar, how do you know we're just not simply minting all this stuff? Just like FTT coin by FTX, they just minted out of thin air. And, and again, Gary Genzer wasn't there for that, right? But he's, he's there now for this, going after stable coins. It, last week, it was his assault on staking, meaning that everyone's pulling their money out of the banks here, and they're panicking because there's, no, there's very little liquidity, and they're putting it into crypto and other better mechanisms out there that's going to give a bigger return. So he's going after that. Now he's going after stable coins here, but, it's, but really, why this stable coin? Uh, let's jump into the next article here because... Circle sounds the alarm on Paxos. Hmm. Told the New York uh, in NYDFS, which uh, Binance's stablecoin wasn't fully backed. Dude, let's see what you let's see Circle's full back. Let's go see what your your paperwork says, right? Let's see what you're backed by, and don't tell me it's backed by stocks. You know, uh, bonds different because bonds are, are paying a uh, percentage. But if you have stocks or other collateral assets, they can't be volatile assets like we saw all the rest of the bozos last year from Voyager to Celsius to BlockFi uh, to FTX. It was all house of cards. I want to see what tethers are being backed by. Why can't we have a simple, simple Regu reg reg regulation or even some type of uh, bill out there that just goes over stable coins. If you back it by a dollar or then you have to show uh, every 30 days, you have to show that you have the assets that will back it up. Otherwise, you simply print anything out of thin air, you turn around, you buy Bitcoin and you pump the market. Then you turn around, what? Yes, you got it. You short the market and pull and pull the rug from underneath everybody. And then we continue to go over this cycle of the retail getting crushed and Gary Genzer protecting everybody behind the scenes. And that's what's been happening. So let's go have regulation. We all went in the blue team last year, last two years, had a chance to do it. Instead, they shielded all the crypto and watched the retail just get pummeled, meeting with, meeting with all these taking donations, the blue team did. And now we're going over here and we need to see this. We need to have bipartisan Red team, blue team, get together and come up with a regulation, a regulatory uh, bill that goes over simple stable coins. It's a two or three pager. Make it easy. Make it easy. Stop dumping on retail. All right, next article. Well, here we go. I said it last week. I told, I told Kraken, man, that up okay and fight the sec or bring your boys in bring in binance bring in coinbase 
You and and I don't care anybody else. Bring them all in. Bring in Genesis. Bring in Jim Knight. Uh, and and pull it together and sue the SEC. Because otherwise, they're going to take you apart one by one, and you just become a you. All they all you did was just fold like a bad suit. I wouldn't put any money on Kraken right now. I would have nothing to do with Kraken. They look terrible. They're just a bunch of wimps. But Brian Armstrong of C, uh, the CEO Coinbase base went out to Washington D.C. and says, "Let's go talk about it." take me on he has the money just like ripple has the money and take on the sec and their crappy lawyers because nobody over there wants to work for the sec they keep hemorrhaging hemorrhaging employees and hemorrhaging uh attorneys over there because nobody wants to work for garbage right gary get it i'm so happy to see brian armstrong i want brian armstrong to man up you know pick up the skirt grab the and relist XRP. Relist it. If you're gonna go take them on, relist it. The only one in the world that's saying XRP is a security is, you got it, the SEC here in the United States. And they just, they've just they been getting their butts whipped in court. And we're gonna find out here, hopefully in the next 45 days or by the end of the first quarter, beginning of the second quarter, that this judge is gonna come out and hopefully she says, because everything's starting to look like it, that, that the today's XRP is not a security. And if that's a fact, Kraken, who just folded, they folded because of staking unregistered securities if it's not a security the sec is not the jurisdiction over it so that's why gary ginder says it's a security and by paying paying off crack and paying it is basically saying yes we're selling unregistered securities we're staking them well that means your entire platform has unregistered securities stop being idiots get together with everybody and fight the sec go after them even Kessler Pierce, one of the, the, the top people over the SEC, says that Gary Ginzer's way out of control. So internally, they're, they're arguing over this whole thing. You got to get him. Congress, get in there. Evict him. Don't let Maxine Waters go in there and protect Gary Gensler. She's been doing it for two years. The only reason she's been doing it, because the blue team is the one that put them in there, and the blue team doesn't care about anything but keeping blue team people in. So let's be very, very honest about it. Maxine Waters should have lost her job because Gary Ginzer hasn't done his job. And now we're hopefully going to see someone from the blue team and someone from the red team go in and blow out Gary Gensler and kick his ass out on the street. Next. Well, guess what we found in those balloons up there? Yes, these are, this is what we, pretty funny here on Twitter. Cowboy Crypto has a picture of the balloons that have been being shot down. And look at the aliens inside of this. Oh, Gary Ganser. Is that a, is that a William Hemman sighting? Is that Jay Clayton? Oh, who, is that SBF? Come on, baby. Laura Shin, is that you over there? FTX, all the FTX homeboys. Wow. Is that, uh... Uh, what is what is that that law firm? Uh, gosh, I can't remember. That's the guy from the the law firm. And look what's on the outside: the SEC. Wow, Chinese flags and Ethereum. Hmm. Shoot it down all day. Next, we're bringing in producer Emmy. She's already threatened me a few times. How you doing, Emmy? Threatened is a very dramatic term. Okay. <laughs> so what did you say? I said that if I was going to be speaking today, I would like to be notified or we were going to have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> she said it all. She's going to point out that I have a bump on my head. <laughs> you were out there helping them shoot down this Bible. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> I was helping onboard Gary Gensler into the in, into the uh, Jail, alien jail. no in the alien <laughs> ship, right? Send his ass back. Uh, ApeCoin leads the NFT and metaverse market share, but apes hefty staking rewards sustainable. 
Well, if you have a bored ape or you have ape coin, you can, add, or a mutant ape or any of those, you can actually turn around and stake them and then get rewards from it and you get ape rewards. Now, I understand that it, some of this doesn't really make sense, you know, with all these different reward programs. Only thing I feel comfortable with here is that's on Binance and Binance isn't really going to go away. But if I have to stake my my board ape over there and I have to go he has to get out of wallet, I'm now taking that that risk again of again, not my crypt, not my keys, not my crypto. It keeps ringing in my ear. Right. That keeps ringing in my ear. So as as much as we all look at. You know, these yields that we continue to see that Gary Gens is trying to get rid of now, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, a year late, by the way, after Voyager and mm -hmm. BlockFi and Three Arrows Capital that all destroyed people's money, right? So so this is what's happening out there. Uh, and again, we're, we're, we continue to see that, you know, Yuga Labs is, again, the leader in all of this. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a... It's really interesting um, how people are really interested in capturing these risk ape gains instead of accumulating the token. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to like shift um, on their markets. But yeah. it's cool. I like the concept. And I mean, if you have an ape and you want to stake it, uh, doing it this way would probably be safe. Would be because Binance, you're hoping is not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, but then again, you 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 know how many times you've heard so many different, uh, you know, predictions about Binance not you know being the same, you know, the same way that FTX was, where their money is not all there. Mm -hmm. If everyone pulled money off their exchange, there would be a moment where there'd be no liquidity left, and people would be going, "Oh my God, I have no money." Yeah. Just yeah. like what's happening on FTX right now, right? FTX. So they go bankrupt, and they so yeah, so yeah. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you guys very much for joining me today. <laughs> yes, she did give me the bump on the head. It was me. Yes. <laughs> I told her she's going on and, well, a little little payback. Yeah, we had a little tussle. It was fun. <laughs> well, she's a wrestler anyway. <laughs> yeah, just throw me around. You guys take care and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.